Race 3. Where's the fun, bro? What do you expect from this franchise? A racy pacey script, eye catching locales, snazzy cars, and stylish towers? The production values of Race 3 ensure that the gloss, a Khan in the lead, and fabulous locations are all lined up. A family tree is established with patriarch Shamshir Singh's opening swagger where he establishes that nobody can beat him at his game. His game is to supply illegal arms all over the world and he operates from an island of his own. Shamshir has his bodyguard and 24-7 shadow Raghu. He also has twin children Sanjana who loves extreme sports and Suraj who is always hot-headed and their stepson Sikandar Vidyash, his own loyal sidekick. In keeping with the flavour of the franchise, you know they will soon be double-crossing and the plot will thicken. But the problem with Remo D'Souza's direction is that the first half barely moves. In fact, all through, there are more action and dance sequences than a director at work. There is another problem. Although the fights are plenty in number, they are old-fashioned, one-man army kind of set pieces that don't pack a new punch. The action choreographer has to be desperate if all he can come up with is cars being blown up at regular intervals and Salman as Sikandar flying off roofs and cliffs like Batman. The songs and dances, including romantic ones, don't have melody or beat and it only perks up a bit when you hear Allah to Hai, which is thanks to Preetam from an older edition of Race. The second half has the twists in the plot that you're waiting for. But there are two more problems now. One, despite the twists, somehow Remo does not manage to bring in the adrenaline thrill that Abbas Mastan was so good at. Two, except for Anil Kapoor as Shamsher and Salman Khan as Sikandar, you miss watching really polished actors. With Daisy Shah, Saqib Salim and Bobby Deol around, somehow it's not suave enough. This Jacqueline Fernandez too in a hazy role which doesn't make up for the sizzle the franchise normally serves. The earlier editions of Race also had their own brand of comedy with Anil Kapoor, but this time it takes itself too seriously to have any fun. There is no wit or heft in any of the dialogues, even when Salman's advocating that ultimately it's all about family. There's also a strange mix of too many English dialogues like bro and weirdo all over the place and sudden pieces in Bhojpuri. Being an Eid offering from Salman, it will have its supporters. But with far too much footage given to the unexciting support cast, Salman's fans will only get to cheer when he's in those implausible fights or when he takes off his shirt. Which is a pity because Salman having some fun on the screen would have been welcome. For a film that misses the thrilling entertainment associated with the franchise, Race 3 gets a 2.5 star rating.